Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to display last three months or six months of data in your uh, visuals based on your slicer selection. Let's say for example, if you select December 2021 over here and if you want to display last three months of sales data in your chart or six months of data in your chart, how do you do that? So this is what we will be learning today. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing that you need to do is that you need to have a calendar table. So if I show you the data model that I have over here, I have an orders table here and then I have a calendar table which is connected with the order date over here, right? So you need to have this calendar table. If you don't know how to create a calendar table, there is a tutorial on my channel. Please go check that tutorial out. So once you have a calendar table and it is connected over here, what we will do is we will go back to the modeling tab and click on new table. We will create a duplicate of our calendar table and we're going to call this as calendar months to display. Okay, is equals to I'm just going to say calendar. Okay, because this is just going to be the copy because what happens is that when you select months over here, if you use the same uh, table here, this will obviously filter but we need to use a different table to showcase the other columns without that getting filtered. So I'm going to create a new table here called as calendar months to display. So we now have a, a table that is created. So we will go to the uh, modeling tab. So let's create a relationship between these two tables. I'm going to click on date over here and drag on to the other date column over here and let's double click on this. So we have to make a couple of changes over here. One is we will change our cardinality to many to one and cross filter direction needs to be single. Okay. And then I'm going to click on, okay, sorry. I'm going to click uncheck this, make this relationship active. I don't want this relation to be active right now. We will activate this using the measure manually. And then I'm going to click on, okay. So you will see something like this being created. So let's go back to our visual over here and over here, let us bring in the uh, year month from the calendar months to show and add this over here and remove the year month from the calendar table. So now you will see in spite of me filtering the data over here, this is showing all the months and years of data that I have in my data table. Okay, so now let's look at how we can filter out this data. For that, we need to create a new measure. So I'm going to go here into my orders table and then select new measure. So let's start writing a measure so that it will filter our data. Okay. So let me just zoom in a bit. So the first thing is let us identify the date that we have selected. So for this, I'm going to use a variable here and call this as max underscore date is equals to, I'm going to say max of my calendar table and date um, calendar table date okay so this is the day that we have we are selecting from here so this is going to return the maximum or the max day that we have selected using the slicer over here okay and then let's go to the next line over here and define another variable here called as previous dates is equals to then here I'm going to say dates in period and it's asking us to enter the start date so this is going to be the date from the calendar months to display table so calendar months to display and then date okay so let me just type in date over here and then you have calendar months to display date okay and now type in comma and then it's asking us to enter the start date. The start date here is going to be our max date, max date, comma, and then it's asking us to enter the number of intervals. Now this is where you need to mention how many months you want to see uh, before the selection that you have made over here. For example, if you want to see the last six months, you need to enter minus six. If you want to see the just last three months, you enter minus three. Okay. So let's look at last six months for now. So I'm going to say la minus six comma and interval here is going to be month. Okay. And then I'm going to close the bracket. 
So now we will create another variable here, call this as result is equals to calculate. We are going to calculate the total sales over here, comma, and then we'll go to the next line over here and type in remove filters. So we want to remove all the filters that are there on our calendar table, the original calendar table. So I'm going to type in calendar over here. Make sure that this is on the calendar and not on any of the uh, column. This is on the entire table. Okay. And then type in comma here to the next line and then type in keep filters on the previous dates over here. So I'm going to type in previous dates, then close the bracket here, comma. And then on the next line, this is where we are going to activate the relationship between the two tables that we have. So it's asking us to enter the column name over here. We will type in date. Oops. What happened? Yeah, we will type in date from the calendar date, comma, and then date from the calendar months to display date. Okay. And then we're going to close the bracket here, close the bracket again. And then on the next line, we're going to say return result. Okay. Press enter. So once you do that and then if you bring in the months to show field over here you will see that everything is blank because the six months data is being displayed over here and now we can simply get rid of our total sales and change this to a column chart and then we will see that we've now selected the last six months data and likewise if i select june over here you will see data all the way from january until june january to june right and let's say if you just want to see three months of data we can quickly go here and change this to three minus three and click enter you will only see last three months data and if i if i click on september over here you'll only see the last three months data so isn't this very cool thing to have in your dashboard so i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials